So guys, I was on holidays for Vegas in NAB and I thought that actually I wouldn't have a lot of work, right? At my big surprise, I thought that actually DaVinci Resolve would stay at the 19 because that was already a huge update. But I guess because there are so many new features, I'm gonna present to you my favorite features in the color page for this new DaVinci Resolve 20. So you see my setup, I am at the hotel next to the stratosphere, it's quite fun here and we're just gonna tackle DaVinci Resolve 20 together because this is freaking cool. So here we are guys in DaVinci Resolve 20 and when you open the software you can see all the new main features that DaVinci Resolve put in and this is a lot honestly but for this video we're just gonna tackle the color page so here we are in our timeline and I'm choosing this shot because this shot has been quite a pain when I had to color grade it because you can see that you have one character and you have her reflection in all the mirrors around her. So I needed for my grade to use magic mask but for magic mask it was quite a pain because magic mask would lose all the reflections all the time so I had to kind of like do a lot of frames by myself. So let's see if this magic mask now can handle all the reflection and have something that is clean at the end. So I will go to the magic mask and I'm using the new magic mask 2. If for example you want to go back to uh, magic mask 1 you just click on legacy object mask and then you're gonna have the original magic mask. So we don't want this, we want to have the magic mask 2 to try what it does. Let's find somewhere where we can have all the reflection. I think this is pretty good, I have most of the reflection. I would say. So let's just pinpoint what we want. I want her in the middle and okay that's pretty good. I see a bit of the dress over here. The dress is missing here and oh, it's really nice. This selection is really good actually because I really had a hard time when I did Magic Mask the first time I've done this job. So <laughs> it's pretty good. So you can see that we have some elements that we don't really need over here. I can say to Magic Mask that he miss some spots. So I can just like pinpoint where. And we are quite good already. So for example, also with Magic Mask now, what is interesting is that we have the possibility to paintbrush our selection. So for example, if Magic Mask miss something, you can just add it by yourself by drawing it. And if you want to modify the size of the brush, you can just go and slide and select the size of the brush you would like. So it's pretty handy, I'm just gonna track it. I just need to have more points to say that DaVinci shouldn't take in consideration this. But you see that all the reflection has been taken in consideration and I think it's pretty good because compared to what I had to do before, it's amazing. So now what I can do is present you the new tool which is the Chroma Wrap, the new UI of the color wrapper. So let's just see together what it does and also we're gonna couple it with the magic mask after to show you like the full potential of these two tools together. So before with the color wrapper, if for example I wanted to have her less green, I would just go to the vector where she is green and I would move around. The problem is that it depends on the vector that you have selected. It can take more colors in consideration. So what I can do is have more hue resolution and then try to have something where I can modify your skin. The problem is that it's really complicated to modify only her skin and to have something that is balance. What we have now is the chroma wrapper and the chroma wrapper 
will include the hue, the saturation and the density at the same time. We can just do everything in one sitting and with a more intuitive UI than the color wrapper that we had. So how it works is that we have two methods to do our chroma wrap. We have this selection, which is add a stroke normal mode. Let's say I want to pinpoint her skin over here. So I'm going to have a point that will be created and then I can move around my point to find where I can have a nice skin. Okay. So something that is maybe going a bit more in the magenta side, just to have less green. This will take in consideration all the colors around here. So the transition between your original color and your new color is smoother than, for example, the normal color wrapper, because with the other color wrapper, the breakage was quite fast. So this is the first option that you have with the color wrapper, where actually it englobes also other colors to make it more natural. After, you have also another option, which is add a stroke point to point mode. So when I add a stroke and I move my colors, this color will actually go from this one that you have here to this one. There won't be like any englobe of other colors. It will go just straight to the other point, which then is a more drastic change that you can have in your footage. For example, I really like this mode. I prefer this mode because this one is a bit too tremendous. So I think it would work pretty well if, for example, you have a shirt and you need to change the color of the shirt. But for everything else, I would just use this normal mode because this normal mode is more pleasant to the eye. So I can just take her skin and just like try to modify her skin to have something a bit more natural. But let's say like this light is really bothering me. What I can do is go to add a pinpoint and I can just select my light and make it come back to what it was before. So it's quite convenient because it will allow you to change your colors but at the same time pinpoint where you don't want the color to be affected and it will actually clean up this element. You can see that actually this image is a bit tricky because there's a lot of light spilling everywhere. So that is why there's a true power by coupling your magic mask which is what we've done together here and your chroma wrap because if I want to change the skin now what I can do is that I can just go to the normal mode now and I can pinpoint her skin and just go to something a bit more natural so I can just find the sweet spot let's say Let's say something like this, so you can see. We are a bit more magenta, which is good. Up. So this is what we had before, very green. And this is what we have after. And we are still in a very natural way of colors. So if I really want to be a bit more subtle, I would just reduce a tiny bit more so you can see so this is before this is after that's huge and it's great because it's super clean also what you can see here we have different menu so the chroma range will allow you to even take more colors in consideration or less colors in consideration to avoid this breakage in the image that would create you noise and you can also regulate the exposure so for example if i want my colors to be denser what I can do is just reduce my exposure and now we have something way denser in my colors, okay? 
So it's quite good. I encourage you to play with it because this is actually a huge feature. And we're just gonna tackle the next feature, which is the fact that you can display overlay on the remote monitoring. And for me, this is huge because before uh, what I had was that I needed to describe what I was doing to my remote clients when I was remote uh, monitoring because they couldn't see any overlay on my image. And so that was actually pretty complicated and that would make us waste a lot of time. So now what you can do, I'm just going to show you, I'm just going to put a session on. So as you can see on my left, I put the session on and you have my feed over here and you have my UI in DaVinci Resolve at my right. So what is cool is that if, for example, I want to put a power window where I do some modification in light. Let's say like I put a power window and uh, I raise the offset. Like here right now, you can see that uh, I don't have any overlay. So for example, if I do something, my client maybe won't even notice that I have a vignette or anything like this because they can't see the overlay and I will have to describe what's happening in the image. Now you can go to your menu and you can go to show viewer overlays on remote monitoring and now you can see all the overlays that I have. So it's great because it will work with power windows, it will work also with the curve tool, we work with the gradient tool. So it's super cool because now we can really work and show to the client what's happening. And also if it's bothering them, you have the possibility to disable the feature. So it's super great. I love it because now it's just going to go straight to the point and I think it's amazing. So this is the three features that I love the most in the color page. Of course, there are some features that got an update like depth map. So I think it's good for you guys to just explore what's new and tell me in the comments what were your best feature for this DaVinci Resolve 20. I leave you here. I'm going to shoot a lot of content at NAB. So I'm quite excited about this. See you next time, guys. See you.